Hey guys, hey, 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 how's it going? This is the Monday morning sidewalk. You might be able to tell by the uh, sweat beads on my forehead that it's actually Sunday. Some days I'll have to record these in advance just because of time constraints and things like that, whether it's all the other balls I have that I'm juggling in the air. Um, I hope you appreciate the fact that we are taking the time to do live video. Let's get on with it. This is gonna be an interesting week here for fly fishing in North Texas. We've got a cool front coming. According to the uh, talking weather heads in the middle of the week, we're gonna have a major change in the weather with a top temperature of around 80 degrees, which is kind of crazy for the end of July, middle of July, or any time in the summer in Texas. So it's gonna be an interesting week. It promises to kind of throw things into a tizzy for a little while and uh, make the fishing uh, either better and or better and worse. So we're gonna get out there before, during, and after and see what happens. Uh, if you're a regular uh, uh, watcher of Texas Flycaster, you know we're doing a lot more videos now and I've got one that's already in the, uh, in the channel, in the Texas Flycaster channel on YouTube, and it's about Lake Whitney. So that's a little sneaky thing that if you watch this video, you'll know about that video. Otherwise, I'm gonna run a, a story with that video probably on Tuesday. It's really uh, interesting juggling with time right now because I'm preoccupied with getting the Airstream ready for this fall and, and winter time. And uh, it promises to be a, a, a challenging prospect with this kind of heat that I'm dealing with. And uh, I'm working on a trailer at A&P Vintage Trailer Works out in uh, Cottondale, Texas. You might check out their website. It's AP, apvintagetrailerworks.com. And that's another website that I created Good stuff, good work, unbelievable work, top shelf all the way. Um, but anyway, back to fly fishing. Um, it's been a, a heat up this past week, and we're, as you can tell, I'm, I'm kind of sweating here on Sunday afternoon, getting ready for this Monday morning sidewalk. Um, it's been a real heat up with uh, temperatures hit finally breaking the 100 degree point, and the uh, fish are starting to be kind of forced out of the shallower water where it heats up faster because it's just too hot for them. And when I say fish, I'm referring to carp, common carp. If you get a chance to watch the uh, video on Whitney, um, that was buffalo. There's a lot of, a lot of interesting uh, um, variables there. And you know, you've heard me talk about variables in the past and, and Whitney's loaded with variables right now. And I think it should be the hottest, one of the hottest spots probably in the north of San Antonio right now for fishing in general because of what's happened there. Uh, I may be wrong. Don't all go there at once. Take your time. Let me go do it again, and, and I'll uh, confirm or deny that that uh, theory. As I said, the weather's going to be changing this week, and it's going to be changing radically. Um, that means barometric pressures, wind directions, and all these other things that can lead to uh, to phenomenal feeding or, or phenomenal passiveness in the way of the fish bite. Um, Another uh, thing that's coming up this week, just splitting right off of that subject onto something else, I've been promising you guys product reviews. I've got the uh, Orvis Helios 2 5 weight tip flex that I shot the video on last week, I don't know, 6 in the morning or something like that. And uh, that video is in production right now. I also am about to do a video as soon as I get done with this one on uh, the Sims Vapor Boot, which is quickly becoming a cult favorite. Um, Sims, as you know, you know, concentrates on fly fishing products. They would say fishing products now because they're getting into the bass market very heavily, and you'll see their stuff on bass fishermen on these TV shows and things like that. So uh, that review will be done in the next few days. The Orvis review will be done, and so that'll be uh, four videos out this week, including the Monday morning sidewalk. I hope you guys uh, have a great week, and be sure and check back with me and follow the Twitter feed if you want to see what's going on with this cool front that's coming through and all that, because that's going to be a, a game changer. I like that. Great name for a fly, game changer. My tip for the, uh, for the Monday morning is uh, a lot of you guys that are just getting started, in fly fishing, you know, it's fairly expensive to get into. One way to save money is by tying your own leaders, and I, I figured that out after a while that um, 
many of the fish that I fish for, bass and carp um, and many others, um, don't need a, a fully tapered store-bought leader. And that's about the only way you can get one is to buy it at the store because you can't taper your own leaders. You can, you can do furled leaders and things like that, but that's, that's a lot of work. So what I did is I bought one of these little things for holding my, my lines and I went out and bought a full assortment of Seaguar and Vizex regular fishing line. Now the thing about Seaguar is it's a top of the line solid fluorocarbon and has all the best characteristics of fluorocarbon. It comes in many different ways. It's not cheap. It runs anywhere from $16 to $26 a spool. But if you factor in all those liters you'll be using that, that are store bought at three to twelve dollars a piece of solid fluoro liters, twelve dollars to thirteen, fourteen dollars. So if you factor that into this, this is pennies on the dollar for tying your own liters. The first two lines I would start with would be a twenty for the butt section and a twelve. Oh no, I take that back. Twenty and an eight is, is plenty. Now a lot of guys give me that, that kind of look like I can't believe you can tie uh, a 20 to an 8 and not have the knot break because of the radical difference in diameter. Well you can and can be done and I'll do a video on that later but for now this is what I suggest is one of these I think it's Plano makes this box. I've stripped off all the uh, all the uh, stickers off the front and one of the keys is kind of frustrating is that when you have one of these the line tends to come out and go everywhere and go back in. Take yourself the hook and loop piece of this is a probably worth worth some money somewhere somebody will use this in a magazine and probably get paid for it um, take yourself a hook and loop and, and go ahead and stick one on here and have the other one on top take your lines and just put them right underneath here and just velcro them down like that and then your lines are all secured on the top of the box no big deal so that's Seaguar and Vizex in 20 and 8 and then the last thing you'll need to really organize yourself and you can tie leaders on the water if you have one of these is one of these leader wallets like this and just label each one with the weight in there and, and put yourself about 20 30 feet of, of solid fluoro cigar in each one of these and then you can tie your leaders on the water or pre-tie leaders and have them in here in one one compartment these things are very very handy and go ahead and label it that way you'll know it's fluoro f for fluoro and i use m for mono and then t for trout which are the trout leaders that are already tied and done so anyway, that should save you some money and right up front and actually when it comes to these leaders, they're not the best in presentation, but they definitely, definitely get the job done for the fish we're after. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Hope you got enough information here to keep you busy for a while. Look back a couple of times this week and we'll have new uh, reviews and videos and don't forget to check the YouTube channel and the Twitter channel or Twitter Twitter feed for um, up-to-date fly fishing information and, and conditions as the weather changes this week. Thanks for watching.